Young people all over the country have dug in their heels in the March for Our Lives movement. Baltimore students joined their peers in a national school walkout on March 14th, calling for stricter gun laws. Now they are taking their fight to Washington, D.C., and Mayor Catherine Pugh says she's behind them 100 percent. I'm excited about the young people from Baltimore. Uh, someone will appear on that national stage to speak on behalf of the young people of this city, representing urban environments across this country. Some have been critical about her support of the trip, saying it will use tax dollars. She says that's not the case. All the publicity that folks have given as it relates to why I said it was important for the young people to go to this march has only allowed more private dollars to pour into our city so that young people's voices can be heard. Buses will leave Baltimore from various locations around the city at 945 with a boarding time of 830. T-shirts and lunch will be provided. If you can't go to Washington, you can still take part. A group of students at Poly have organized a rally that goes from 10 to 12 Saturday. In front of City Hall, we're going to be rallying, or we'll have speakers there and rally for around 45 to 50 minutes. That's what we're shooting for. Then we will take to the streets of Baltimore. We'll go um, down Commerce Street, then to the Inner Harbor in the trolley lane. You can find out more about this student-led effort on the Facebook page, March for Our Lives Baltimore. And for those locations for pick up and drop off uh, for the buses that are that the mayor is uh, helping to provide, you can go to our website or the WBAL mobile app. Reporting live in North Baltimore, Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News. <laughs>